welcome back to our Friday's produce from the farmer's market. I'm Elizabeth from the Cochise County Cooperative Extension and I also work for SNAP-Ed. So um, I get to work with helping people redeem their SNAP benefits at the farmer's market. And I do just want to remind everybody that next week, next Thursday at the Sierra Vista Farmer's Market is the last uh, day for this cycle on redeeming um, WIC and senior uh, foods um, at the market. So if you get WIC or CFS um, this Thursday, or next Thursday I should say, um, is the last time in September that we can do that until it comes back up again. Um, so I have um, okra today. Uh, okra grows really well here um, in Southeast Arizona um, and it is uh, usually available at the farmer's market. So uh, the vendor that has okra um, also takes both uh, the snap and the wick. Um, so um, you can use uh, those double up bucks um, to get that Arizona grown produce. So let's begin. We're going to make a light fried okra. So um, I ate a lot of okra when I was growing up and um, I always liked it fried best. Um, but as we know, that's not necessarily the healthiest way to eat our fruits and vegetables. Um, so this recipe from AZ Health Zone is a light fried okra. And so that's what we're going to try today. So, if you've never tried okra, this is what it looks like. Um, some of them are a little bit longer. This one's still dripping from being washed off. Um, and when they grow on the plant, they grow on a stalk and it kind of, they kind of come off like this. And so that's why they cut them here on the stem. So, I have some I've already cut up. And we'll cut up some more. But as you can see, they're kind of an interesting interior. And so we're just gonna leave those like that. And I'm gonna chop some more up. You can see how easy they are to chop. And you can also eat the tips. Um, if they're a little blemish, you could just cut the very bottom off. But really you just need to cut the very top off. And... All right. Now you may have had okra in gumbo or um, some different kinds of soups and stews. Um, and the texture can be a little different. That's why I like it fried the best favorite way to eat it. So I was really excited to see this recipe. So the recipe on AZ Health Zone calls for two cups and that looks about like two cups or so. Set this aside. So I'm heating our skillet over here. This is our one of my favorite tools for food demos. recipe says to put a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And you can adjust these seasonings as you like. And then give it a good toss. Everything nice and lightly coated with the oil. I think our pan is ready, so I'm gonna put a little bit of nonstick spray on here. Hopefully, it doesn't smoke like it did last week. <laughs> there we go. Very good. All right, so now I'm just gonna put our okra right on here. Spread it out. 
so that it cooks evenly. Hmm, it smells really good. And so the recipe says to let this saute for about 10 minutes. And you want to kind of stir it around to make sure it's evenly brown. So like I said, I grew up eating oak quite a bit. Um, my parents back east, they still grow okra in their garden. Um, so it's one of those vegetables that is easily adaptable and grows well in a lot of places. Um, I think that's one of the reasons we find it in stews a lot. Um, and of course, if you're familiar with um, gumbo, um, it's one of the important elements in that kind of dish. So while these are cooking, I'm going to over this a little bit, and I'm going to bring my cutting board back. So one of the things that I found at the market that I'm going to use to go on top of my okra once it's fried were these uh, garlic and onion chives. So it's a lot like the green onions, um, except that they're much smaller and they're usually much more pungent. Um, so you can buy, like I said before, lots of different fresh herbs um, at the market. And that is something um, that you can also use your snap benefits on. So if you wanted to get um, a plant, an edible plant, so if you wanted a mint plant or, oops, I keep using this, but, um, Something like that, that is something you can redeem your snap benefits on. And as we move into the cooler weather, it might be something kind of nice to have in your window. Um, you could get just a little bit of taste of summer. So, so I'm going to chop these up, and they just need a very fine chop. enough for what I need. So I'm just going to set that aside and we're going to pull our okra back over. And it's looking really nice and brown. There's just a couple of pieces that need a little bit more time on here. Turn my skillet off so I don't forget it. And I'm gonna grab my serving bowl. All right. So there we have a quick, light fried okra. Um, I can the pepper I can really smell, and it really has kind of that smell of um, the fried okra that I'm used to. So um, the recipe recommends serving this with a hot sauce or other kind of sauce um, of your choice. Um, so I know at the market you can get um, different kinds of relishes and things like that and um, that would be great um, if you could find uh, like a pepper relish or kind of something like a chow chow. It would be really delicious on this. Um, so I'm gonna sprinkle our garlic and onion chives on there. And voila, oh, it smells good. 
Um, the heat from the okra really releases the, the aroma, aroma, the smell of the chives. So there we go. And that is a light fried okra. So great. So hopefully uh, you will join us here next Friday. Um, and hopefully um, I'll see you at the market next Thursday. Um, I um, am going to do one more food demo that you can find on our YouTube channel and that is at Cochise County AZ Health Zone and that will be um, some other uh, more winter vegetables, some fall vegetables that are um, beginning to be available um, that you may be able to find next Thursday as well and use uh, your benefits with. So I hope to see you then and have a great day.